Are you struggling to set up your Revit API autocomplete? I've heard from many people that they couldn't set it up correctly in PyCharm even though they followed a tutorial step by step. And also some of you were asking me how to create it for Visual Studio Code, which is another popular IDE. So in this lesson I will show you how to install and configure Visual Studio Code for Revit API in just 3 simple steps. Also I want to show you an amazing feature that Visual Studio Code has that you didn't expect in the end of this video. But before that, let's install and configure it for Revit API. First of all, open Google and type in here VS Code. Then click on this link and you will see download for Windows. Once you click on it, it will redirect you to another page and it will start downloading it right here. Once it has downloaded, click on it and install as usual. In here, you can select all of these tick boxes, but I'm gonna remove this one because I use PyCharm as my main ID. Now click on install and wait until it's finished. Now, once it's complete, we can click on finish and it will open Visual Studio Code. And this is how Visual Studio Code interface looks. I'm not gonna go in details, I'm just gonna show you the steps to make Revit API autocomplete. First of all, we need to make sure that Python autocomplete works. So go to extensions and in here type Python. Then you'll need to install this one. I already have it installed, but make sure that you install it as well. Then go to file. In here, you can either open a folder as a project or just click on new file. I'm just gonna call it testing.py and click on enter. It's gonna ask you where to save it, I'm just gonna drop mine on the desktop. Now in here I can write import os, os path join and you can see it gives me all the auto suggestions and also I can get the doc strings if I hover over some modules. So far it looks like python autocomplete works, but now we need to add Revit API stubs so it works for Revit API. So the first step you need to download Revit API stubs. I will leave a link in the description so you can download them as well, but in my case I already placed it in Updata. And in here, there are 5 versions from Revit 20 to 2024. You can place your stops anywhere you want on your computer, just make sure that they are placed somewhere secure so you don't delete them accidentally. In my case, I want to put the stops for Revit 2023, so I'm gonna copy this path. Now, I need to go back to Visual Studio Code and we need to configure our Python autocomplete. Go again to Extensions, find your Python extension and with right click, you can go to Extension Settings. In here, you are interested in this section, Python autocomplete extra paths. And there is a button to edit in settings.json. Click on it and it will open settings.json file. At the moment there is nothing here, so I'm gonna paste my code in here. The first one tells you what the zoom level is gonna be. This is, as you can see, is gonna change how zoomed in you're gonna be in your interpreter. Then the second line is gonna be the Python path, which I believe is an optional if you wanna run your interpreter. In case of Revit API, you're not gonna run any code in Visual Studio Code, you're just gonna use it as a helping tool to write your code and then execute using PyRevit, Dynamo or Revit Python shell. So this one is not necessary, I'm just gonna remove it. And then in here we need to put our extra paths. So as you remember, I copied this path for Revit API stops 2023, and now I need to place it here in these paths. One thing you have to pay attention to is right here you can see that some of these letters became red. This is because we have a single slash in the beginning, and you need to make sure that you have double slashes everywhere. Now this one is okay, this one is for Revit API stops. Now we also want to add for PyRevit and to find it we're gonna go to Updata then somewhere here you're gonna see the folder called PyRevit Master inside there's gonna be PyRevit library mainly you're gonna use these two I have no idea what these three are but for now we just want to copy the path come here and place it here as well again make sure you're making it all double slashes now we have two of our path one for Revit API autocomplete and the other for PyRevit autocomplete if you also reuse code using library in your own custom extension, you can also place a path here to see all the suggestions as well. But I don't want to do this, I'm just going to click on Ctrl S to save it. Now we're going to go back to this testing file and I'm going to see if it actually works for Revit API. I'm going to write from Autodesk, Revit, DB, import everything, and I'm going to try to create a collector. And you can see whenever I write anything it gives me suggestions right away. And now you can see that my Revit API works correctly. And now, lastly, I want to show you a bonus feature of Visual Studio Code which you don't even know that exists. Open GitHub of any project. In my case, I'm gonna open my EFTools extension for Revit. Now, here on the top, where you can see github.com, I'm gonna remove this .com and we're gonna write dev. Now you can see my whole GitHub repository is open in online version of Visual Studio Code. In here I can scroll through all the files, open my scripts, and I can see code in a much better way than looking it through GitHub. Also, I can make any changes here, 
and I can also sync it by using the GitHub. Where you can see right here, I can I have source control, I can commit, push, and make changes to my GitHub repository just online. And this is great. However, there's a downside that I haven't found any way to implement Revit API autocomplete in an online version. And if any of you know how to fix this, please let me know somewhere in the comments or write me directly in LinkedIn, because I would love to hear how you did it. So now you should have your Visual Studio code with autocomplete. But if you follow my Revit API tutorials, then you'll notice that I still use PyCharm in my code. And if you want to learn how to set up PyCharm autocomplete for Revit API, be sure to check this video to help you follow along my other tutorials. Thank you and as always, happy coding!